hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and today's video is about anxiety or more specifically as the title suggests how to overcome anxiety rather by the word of god so our anchor scripture for today is psalm 94 and verse 19 and it reads when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy i'll read it again when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy so how do we overcome anxiety by the word of god well we can start firstly by defining what anxiety is so you all know i like to start with definitions and stuff sometimes where, where applicable i like to define things so that we can better explain it and then see where it lines up with the word of god so anxiety this has many definitions but it can be defined as a feeling of unease a feeling of worry and fear it can manifest physically in the form of anxiety attacks which come with increased heart rate increased blood pressure and hyperventilation which is having trouble breathing the word anxiety is derived from the latin word angle which means to constrict and personally as someone who has suffered with anxiety attacks before that word constrict is very very telling because you can literally feel like you're being squeezed in you can literally feel like you're choking and you're trying to breathe but you can't breathe because the fear and the nerves and the stress is just so overwhelming but what does the bible say about worry and fear because those are the two things that come with anxiety right so what does the bible say about it so philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 says be anxious for nothing now the word of god is very specific sometimes i feel like we read things and we don't we don't really digest it like we don't really understand what it say yet be anxious for nothing then say um be anxious for some things then say be anxious about your grades they didn't say be anxious about your rent i said be anxious for nothing not Thing, nothing nothing at all but by prayer and petition make your requests known unto God so basically anything that you are worried or anxious about this verse is basically telling us hey don't worry about it tell it to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Be anxious for nothing. And I know some some of you may be watching this video and you're like, Sherry, how could you tell me to be anxious for nothing? I mean, look at the state of the world, look at what is going around. I mean, even look at my own personal life. You know, I have so much troubles. I have so much things to get done, so much deadlines to meet. And it seems like anxiety is my only option. I can't help it. You know, I don't choose to be anxious, but it happens nonetheless. I'm, I'm fearful I am worried about all the things that are going on around me so let's read another verse 2nd Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 for God has not given us a spirit of fear so fear and anxiety go hand in hand God has not given us a spirit of fear but a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind now if you have a sound mind then you cannot be anxious and that is what anxiety does it robs you of your peace of mind you realize in the verse that we read before at the end of the verse it said the peace of god which transcends all understanding so if we are fearful and we're not operating in that spirit of power and that spirit of love and that spirit of soundness of mind then we will not have peace because if you have peace your mind will be sound your heart will be at rest your soul will be peaceful but anxiety and fear robs us of that which is why the word of god is very specific god has not given us a spirit of fear so if you are fearful and if you are anxious then those feelings do not come from god and if it doesn't come from god then why are you accepting it you know i i, I there's a thing that i like to say if it's not from god then i don't want it god has not given me a spirit of fear so therefore i am not going to accept a spirit of fear so anxiety is associated with fear 
warfare is a spirit that does not come from God. Now, 2 Timothy 1 and verse 7 tells us something very profound. It's very specific in the way that it describes faith. It doesn't say that God has not given us an emotion of faith. It doesn't say that God has not given us a feeling of faith. It says God has not given us a spirit of faith, which indicates that faith is something spiritual. Now, that doesn't mean that you're, you're possessed or anything like that. But it means that the feeling of faith that you have, there is an entity behind it, a spiritual entity. And that spiritual entity does not come from God. You know, everything bad in this world, all the negative, all the ugly horrid stuff all of that comes from the spiritual realm but it comes from the kingdom of darkness because if something is good that means it comes from god so fear is a lot more than just nerves and anxiety fear is a lot more than just trembling or just being worried or just feeling to throw up or whatever physical symptoms be manifest with it it's a lot more than that there's a spiritual entity behind it and if it doesn't come from god then we have to be very careful about what we choose to resonate within our spirit because the word of god says that we are to be anxious for nothing and the word of god has a solution to every problem every situation we have you know we may think that things are insurmountable we may think that things are are hard to overcome we may think that things are beyond us and that's okay that's okay if it's beyond you. It's not beyond God. You know, wherever we our limit is, God can go further than that. God transcends our limits. He goes further than we could ever imagine. So that is why when we feel like we've reached our limits, when we feel like anxiety and fear are closing in, that is when we say, God, I need you to take the wheel. I need you to take the reins because I cannot handle this on my own. And I am falling into a ball of mess. I am falling into a trembling, sniveling, scared individual. And I don't like this. I don't, I don't like to be worried about certain things. I don't like to be fearful. So God, I need you to come in and I need you to take control. Sometimes a simple, simple prayer like that and God can completely step in and turn your situation around. Anxiety is associated with fear, and fear does not come from God, so reject it at all costs. And sometimes it's difficult when you're in the heat of, of the distress to remember what the word of God says because your mind at the moment is just simply occupied with all the things that are going wrong. Which is why the word of God says that we are to take every thought captive, every thought that tries to exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ, we have to take it captive. So those thoughts, those negative thoughts, we have to remember, A, hey, does this line up with the word of God? No. If it doesn't, then I'm, I'm pulling that down. I'm pulling that down because that is not what God's word says and that is not what I'm going to declare. That is not what I'm going to let digest within me. So the word of God is living and it is able to calm your soul psalm 94 19 as the first anchor scripture that we read when anxiety sorry was great within me your consolation brought me joy the word of god is able to calm our soul meditating on scripture destroys negative thoughts if god and his word are one then declaring his word will cause everything that is not of him to flee if God and his word are one, then declaring his word will cause everything that is not of him to flee. So, the importance of declaring scripture. You see those scriptures that I just read, and there are many more. Sometimes just speaking those words can help bring relief to our situation. Because the word of God is living and powerful. And when we declare positive, positive declarations with our mouth change happens because the word of god says that life and death is in the power of the tongue so if life and death is in the power of the tongue then why are you declaring negative things over your life why are you saying oh i'm not going to get this done in time oh i'm not going to pass this exam oh this money is not going to come in time oh this rent is not going to get paid oh this job is not going to get better whenever you say those negative things you are releasing and making declarations that that will solidify in your life and they are only negative things 
life and death is in the power of the tongue which is why we must remember to speak positive things even if we don't feel it you don't have to feel good to declare positive things over your life you don't have to be in the mood to read scriptures that will lead you to to declare what the word of god says about your life you don't have to feel good you don't have to be in a good mood the more you declare it the more it will begin to change on the inside so sometimes you just have to push through whatever you're feeling sometimes you're just going to have to push through the fear sometimes you're going to have to push through the depression sometimes you're going to have to push through the worry the anxiety and just declare the word of god just declare the word of god over your life just declare the word of god over your situation and it will begin to change things around you know you may not see it immediately but that's okay that's okay because we walk by faith and not by sight so we don't have to see things change immediately but we know that when we make those declarations things are happening in the realm of the spirit when we make those declarations things are happening and god is working on our behalf behind the scenes so it is important to read and to meditate on scripture you know um sometimes if if any of you are watching right and um you suffer with anxiety attacks sometimes in the middle of the attack you know to calm yourself down just just recite a verse in your head any verse you could remember to just calm yourself down and it will help it will help because god's word is living and active and god and his word are one so when you declare god's word in the midst of your situation you invite him to come and intervene in your situation lastly um my personal experience with anxiety attacks and now i well i don't know how many of you know or don't know maybe my my closest friends if any of you all are watching this you would know but i had a period in my life where i suffered with anxiety attacks badly um it's probably my preteen phase i think it started in form two and i was 12 in form two so maybe my preteen phase is 12 preteen i'm not sure i think so um and maybe up till i was 14 or i can't remember it's fuzzy right now but there was a there was a phase where i suffered with anxiety attacks i think it probably even started before form so i'm not sure but it was really really bad and my anxiety attacks were caused by a myriad of reasons which i will not discuss you know that's between me and god but it was really really bad um i mean I remember sometimes I would just be in school for example and then suddenly an attack would come on and I would like put down my head on the desk and I would be having trouble breathing and I would be crying and stuff and it's like what happened to Shari? It's like Shari say okay and then I would just be crying more when, every, when somebody asked me for okay. Um, there was a time it got so bad um, I ended up in the hospital. And I think this was a night when I was in church and it, it just came on so strongly and I just remember not being able to breathe and it was like so scary and I began to hyperventilate, like my body began to tremble and I, I just began to cry and they had to take me home and when I got home it didn't get better, like it got worse and I remember ending up in the hospital and um, I... We, we have such a, a taboo attitude when it comes to to things like mental health especially in the caribbean and which is why i'm glad the 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 field that i am in the field that i'm studying psychology it gives me a dual perspective because i'm able to see mental illnesses or mental disorders or poor mental health with two lens i'm able to see it in a natural sense as a psychologist but i'm also able to see it spiritually as a child of god to understand that there are spirits behind these things and that, that that's that's cool that it gives me a dual perspective so i'm able to apply the knowledge from both sides and i remember being in the hospital the ambulance had to come for, for me rush us up there and the emts the ambulance people brought us in and I remember a nurse rushing to the bed I was on and she was asking the EMT what's wrong what's wrong with her and EMT was like she have an anxiety attack and I remember the nurse was like she watched me and in the most condescending tone ever she was like just breathe or something so and I remember being so 
so upset but i wasn't able to like react with my upsetance because i was having trouble breathing and my head, i'm like what do you mean just breathe like if it were that easy like do you think like i would have ended up here and that goes back to when i defined the word anxiety and it says and i said that it came from the latin word angle which means to constrict it's a constricting choking feeling and when you're in the middle of a panic attack you can't just stop you can't just breathe you know and i thank god that he has delivered me from that i no longer suffer with anxiety attacks sometimes when situations are overwhelming the enemy tries to tries to bring that back to me but but i i have not had an anxiety attack in can't even say how long i saw long it has been and it has been an awesome amazing feeling so if there are any of you who are looking at this and you suffer with panic attacks like i used to i i i i recommend god fist i recommend god i recommend the word of god i also recommend spiritual counseling you know if there's anybody in your life that you could talk to about it um but there is a pastor elder in the church um i also do not despise therapy because like i said i am i am a, a, a natural psychologist in the making as well so i i look at the both options and there's nothing wrong with um going to a therapist there's nothing wrong with doing counseling um that's absolutely perfectly fine but as a child of god my priority is god first so yes um do whatever you need to do naturally to calm yourself down but seek god first because he is the one who created you and he has the best solutions for you and like i said this is not just natural this is something spiritual so obviously inviting god into this situation will be able to to be able to attack the problem from the root up will be able to pull it up from the roots because you're dealing with the source and the source is spiritual the source isn't the source isn't natural the source isn't physically it manifests itself physically you know with the problems breathing and the cold sweating and whatnot and the chills and and i know the works have been through it was really really awful but it, it it starts spiritually and it manifests itself physically so yes you can deal with it physically but go to god first god is your source first so i will be wrapping up this video because I, I usually don't like to get my videos to be too long because i want to like grab your attention and keep it i don't want you all to get bored and ugh, snoring on me and <laughs> and stuff like that but i hope this video helped i will put these verses in the description box as well as some songs gospel songs obviously that could really help you when you're feeling anxious when you're feeling nervous when you're feeling worried when you're going through a tough time that could just remind you of god's promises and remind you that god is with you in the midst of the mess and you just have to declare his word you have to remember that faith is not from him you have to remember that his word is living and him and his word are one so when you declare his word he comes into your situation and he is able to make an impact so thank you for tuning in it's been a pleasure as always i love you very much and god loves you even more continue to let your light shine and continue to just surrender to god in every single ah, in every single area of your life is these rubber bands you know these braces don't get braces guys don't <laughs> continue to surrender to god in every area of your life and he will bless you he will lead you he will guide you and you can never fail when god is on your side bye